Hello everyone, this is Prashant, uh, welcome to the channel. So today we are going to see the one of the important topic, class and objects and other OOP concepts. So without this interview question, we never get any interview in the Python, in, in uh, that too in the QA automation role. Okay. So I am going to create a new file for this one. So this is a class and object dot py. Okay. So first of all, what is the class? So Sorry, I was written wrong, please. Not this one. I want to create under this one. Class underscore object dot py. Okay. So, class is what? Class is a, we study two things. One is variable, another one is function. So, it's a class is a combination of variables and object. Take an example. If you are creating a vehicle means, what are the variables in vehicle like a model number, car name, uh, all the items are each one attribute is the variables. And functions, what are the functions? Switching the gear, starting that, stopping. So those things are all uh, the function. So this is the collection is called class. Okay. So for that I am going to create a class. This is the keyword, class keyword. And we want to give a class. Suppose I am creating a car. Take a same example. So first one is we want to write a we have a constructor okay right so constructor you study if you, anyone has studied java means you know but constructor is a method which automatically invoke whenever it's called and it has the useful for creating the attributes and variables okay right now i'm going to show you function def double underscore init okay so in this init i'm going to mention a what are the variables i made a first one is self what is the meaning of self is self is this class so indicates current class the self i have two one is whose make another one is the model okay i have two things i have two parameters so self i'm creating a variable self make and save this value and self dot model i'm creating a two variable and passing this so whenever i'm this method is called this two parameter will be stored in this two variables okay then i'm going to create a new method this method is to show the data okay it's only show it won't do anything and from self so why we mentioning self it means current class okay in the self i'm going to print so f so you you guys know this print right so if you anything want to self dot make and self dot model so this will okay cool right so i'm going to run this you will see what is happening python class underscore object dot py okay. see this there is no output why class is a blueprint it doesn't have any values until you create an object so i'm going to create an object how to create an object so i'm going to create an object like honda car honda equal to what is the class name car what are the parameter i want to pass two things one is the maker some value make and model suppose i'm passing honda city okay city that's a car name and using the honda i want to call which method show method okay see here when i create this object line number nine automatically this function will initiate because that's a con constructor constructor automatically invokes when you create the object for the class so in a car class i'm creating an object at the time this will execute after that using that object honda i'm calling the show method okay right now i'm going to run that see this honda and city i'm going to create another class another object okay so this is maruti okay so here i'm going to give a shift x okay so again i'm going to call you maruti dot show so what will happen this will 
this is the new object the another object when this line 11 12th line execute this method will initiate for the maruti object and if i call show method it stores shift and x okay the cool right this is the two features next now i am going to teach you the inheritance the next topic okay inheritance okay so what is inheritance inheritance is creating a new class from base class like creating a child class from parent class so take an example the car is the parent so i am going to create a child child is i am going to create one one brand okay so in the brand i am going to create a volkswagen okay so i am going to create a class volkswagen so i want to inherit how to inherit what is the cl- parent class name is car so i want to give a car see this i have a car so i actually right now created the inheritance now i am going to create a what first thing is constructor for the child class okay so already make and model was available in the parent i don't want that one remaining thing what are things like suppose i am going to color what color of this car okay and what kind of uh, sometimes we will give the right uh, model already we provide the model and make suppose was year like year of uh, design okay i am going to create this is a color and this is the car right see here so in a single line we done this changes okay one is color another one is years right now i am going to create a how to call my that class my super class what is super class parent class is a super class okay this is the now is fine right so i am going to call the parent class see here clearly super super is the keyword indicates the parent class dot because i want to initiate whom the parent class okay what are the parent class parent class needed two things what are the things make and model because that two attributes whenever i am creating a my class i want to create my for my parent as well so if two this two is needed that means whenever the car is creating a model the car should collect all four details one uh, two is for that class and two is for the parent class okay now and here also i am going to get a show method see here clearly here also i am getting a show method in the show method i am going to uh, this is self first of all self in the print i am going to put f i am going to print all the things okay all the things i am going to print first one is self dot make and self dot model and what is other one other two model dot self dot color and what is another one self dot year okay see here i can simply you can ask you have only two parameters in child this two how you are able to access the parent right how because that parent is it was available in the where it for my parent so i am the child but my parent has two attributes so i can use that attributes in my local okay cool right now i am going to create a object volkswagen 1 equal to volkswagen what are the parameters i want to pass here you guys say like one as volkswagen polo the model is gt then the color is red and the another parameter is what here like this it was developed in 2020 okay see this i have four parameters if if i call which method show method we'll see what we printing 
see this all got thrown because i am a child i inherited the parent method make dot make and model so even though i have a color and year i can use the make and model because that is available in the my parent so i am reusing it okay you got it right now i am going to talk to you about encapsulation okay so what is encapsulation encapsulation is something some variable we hiding okay that it's not available for everyone only through the function i can access it okay so for that i'm going to create a class this is a bank okay let's create a bank so in this i'm going to create one what you guys know constructor right the self i'm going to tell it as a account account number okay it's like a secure like secured one take an example the secured one so i'm going to pass self dot here i'm going to use a new method double underscore account you can ask why i put double underscore in the initial because if you want to make a variable as a private we want to use a double underscore so if you that means this account is private so no one have a direct access okay so how to access that one so i'm going to create a method get account in the is a self actually if you call this method this method will return you self dot account otherwise you don't have a, you cannot directly use account anywhere even your child you are uh, everyone only through get account you have access okay right now i am going to create a object like a bank equal to bank this account number is i will it like 1234 1232 1, okay but i don't have a, that value so what i want to do bank dot what is the method get account so using get account method i can access it see this 1232 so this is called encapsulation first of all you want to understand double underscore okay so this is called encapsulation next one yes polymorphism already i showed you one polymorphism i hope you guys are remember not see here in this pay here also one show is there child also have one show is there okay did we see which sign which show was printed only this show not the parent show why because in polymorphism if the child has the same method it will use that one it won't use the parent so that is the one kind of polymorphism there are two kind of polymorphism this is override because i am overriding my parent method so that's it polymorphism done so if you have any doubts please put me in the comment so thanks for watching if you like the video please like and share to your friends thanks for watching